Hi, this is Bill Hibbler with ecommerceconfidential.com. And as promised in my last video, I'm going to show you today how to use an application that lets you do group messaging in Twitter, a feature, a feature that should be in Twitter, but it's not included. And so what we're going to do is start off here on this site, an unlikely site, jazzychad.net. And apparently Chad's a musician, looks like he's a hoops fan, and he also does some programming. It's very cool, this little application that he's put together. So go to his site, jazzychad.net, and if you look down, you can scroll down the side menu here, and you will see right here, Twitter groups. So click on that link right there, and that will take you to this page. And there's a set of instructions here on what you need to do. One thing you need to pay attention to is step one before you register for the site, you have to be following Chad on Twitter group. So you click on this link right here. That's going to take you to Twitter. It's going to bring up his TW Groups page. And right here, I'm already following him, but you'll see a button here that says follow. Just click on that. Once you do, you'll see it says following. And hit your back button to go back to the site and follow the instructions to register. He, you're going to get an email confirmation, and you're also going to get via Twitter an activation code that you will need to paste in. And you follow the instructions in the email. But if once you've registered, if you if you you can come back when you if you get the uh, activation code in Twitter, you can click activate, and then just paste that code there to click activate. It just takes a couple seconds. You know, I found the email arrived pretty quickly. So once you do that, then you log in using the username and password that you created when you registered. And as you see, it's already up. It says number of imported friends, five, number of groups, two. Uh, you can click to, here to import or add your followers. Import is something it, he warns you on the page, on the import page, that it takes a long time due to the Twitter user interface. I tried to do it after a couple of minutes. I went ahead and stopped because I wanted to get this video done for you, but it, it, it may be worth the time later to, to import them. What I did is just manually add a few people, and you do that by going here to the Add page, and you can see I've already imported five people here, but you just paste in their Twitter ID and click Add Follower and add them to the group. So then you're going to you have to actually create groups and you can create as many groups as you want to. You see I've already got a couple here uh, my ebook mastermind class and this is one I did earlier, my mastermind group. So you would you might put my best friends. You have your mastermind group, my students, whatever. And so you pick that group and you click edit and that is going to bring you to this window and you'll see all of your imported or added followers from Twitter are going to be here and you can just click on them to add them to the group and click on whatever followers you want to add to that group you click save and now you can go back to managing groups and if you see now that that group my best friends now has five people in it Okay, now let's say we want to do a group message. Go right up here, group message, and put the name of your group. You could do more than one group here, but let's say ebook mastermind. And that normally that, that browser is saved that because I've typed it earlier. It's not going to come up that way for you unless you use Firefox. And you can also to, uh, to send to a list of users here, just separating their names by comma. So if you don't want to set up groups, you just want to send up specific people, you can do it that way as well. Then you type your message here. And your Twitter username will be here. Your Twitter password goes right here. And you click on Tweet. And in a couple of seconds, you will get a confirmation right up here that says your message has been sent. And you can pop over to Twitter and you can check to see if the message went out. You would go here to direct messages on your menu. And that's going to bring up this page. This is your inbox. Click on sent. And this is a message that I sent out before we started the video to my class. So you can see everybody got it 19 minutes ago at exactly the same time. Testing out the Twitter groups application to the class from my blog. And so this went out to five students, didn't add the whole group here. And already in my inbox, 
just a few minutes after sending that out, I see one student is online. He says online and responding. So the message did come through. So the quick and easy way to send group messages, much easier and faster than sending out the message over and over again and forgetting, okay, did I send it to everyone? And the ability to do multiple groups is cool. Again, I'd like to see this application in Twitter. I'd like to see Twitter offer this function. But since they don't, I want to thank Jazzy Chad for putting this great site together for us. So again, go to jazzychad.net and look on the side menu for Twitter groups and try this application out. And you want to bookmark it because you'll need to go here to send out your messages. So you can use this for your mastermind groups. Uh, you, can, you can lump your close friends together so you're not bugging people with you know all the little details of things you're doing. And there's things you want to keep private. So you've got that. So great way to communicate with groups, Twitter groups, try it out. And that is all for now. I'm Bill Hibbler with ecommerceconfidential.com.